Hey boos, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kendra Nicole here if you're new and if you're returning it's always nice to see you guys. So in this video I took one of my old wigs so it is another wig transformation and I just wanted to focus just on my baby hairs. I thought about hey what if I had colored baby hairs. I'm not the biggest fan of baby hairs but I said for this I will do it because I think it's a very cool, very unique, very different. I even gave it some dimensions with some curls um, so you know it's in your face. The color is like a burgundy wine purplish eggplanty color um so if you guys want to see how we got here uh let's just continue watching yes <laughs> yeah i'm in love with this i'm in love this is gonna be like my one favorite baby hair wig because i just like the classic clean look um, but I I like I like how this idea came out that I, I just thought about it and I really really love how this idea came out um, So yeah, let me know if you guys will try this yourself if so what color um, And yeah, let me know down below in the comments. So let's get right into the video Basically, this is an old wig that I had um, I have a video of me installing it for my birthday two birthdays ago. I believe I decided I wanted to um, do something different but fun I thought about hey I've never seen like colored baby hairs like just color on the baby hairs and the rest of like the wig um, staying like in its natural color let's say so I decided I wanted to do it but also show you guys how I do it all right so I'm going and using my blonde me bleaching powder and 40% developer this is the powder that I use you don't even need that much to be honest then you want to section out the part that will become your baby hairs I recommend sectioning it out more than the average um, amount of hair that you have for your baby hairs and this is why I recommend it so when I did this the first color I chose which I thought would have been popping wasn't popping at all so I had to go back in and re-bleach it a second time which we all know bleaching the hair whether it's like our actual hair from our scalp or on a wig um, you know it can like leave the hair falling out um, or it can make it thinner so this is why I recommend taking out more here I show you guys a clip of the first color that I tried so I had to go back in re-bleach the hair and then re-dye it so um, I was really happy that I did take out more hair because as you can see it got thinner after the first wash um, after the first bleach so um, at that point when I went back in to re-bleach it I was really like hanging on to some strings which if I didn't take out more hair prior to that I would have I would have had nothing to to show you guys like nothing to create for you guys so this is why I recommended also the fact that lace frontal wigs when we pluck the hairline um it does become more fragile so you know doing this process again i will repeat um it is a you know risky situation um in doing so um you know you risk it becoming more fragile you risk you know the hair completely falling out in the front which i'm i'm so thankful that that didn't happen because this idea has been one of mine for a long time and i'm so glad that i was able to bring it to life um do not mind that bald spot balding in the front right there like i said this is a wig from like two two years ago when i just started out on youtube it was on my first birthday and this is when i thought okay sis can pluck and plucking is so easy no like so i did that little boo-boo but in the end i do finesse it and you will see that you don't even notice it in the end um another thing i want to shout out mention I mean is you don't need to bleach the hair all the way to the end that is such a waste of time and I only realized that the second time I went in to bleach it and um, color it the the color that you guys saw in the beginning of the video so you can literally just bleach like midway because you're gonna be cutting off a lot of this hair anyways when you when you create your baby hairs <laughs> So another thing I want to point out is you do see that some bleach got on the back area of the hair. Don't worry, if you have some baby wipes, you can just use that to take it out. Um, so I did this and I also at the end, I used some black dye to just go over it in case um, not all came out, which in the end you'll see like there was no strands of blonde once I was done the entire process. <music> This is how 
how the process has been going so once it started to bleach out I just washed it out now we're gonna go in with our arctic box in the color ritual you guys can already see the thickness of my baby hairs <laughs> has like really like there's a difference okay we didn't start off this thin that's for sure um, and I like to do what I like to do with that especially like when it comes to the front where the lace is I like to start kind of like far from the roots and then work my way up to the roots that way you know it's less chances of me staining the lace also when I get when I approach the root of the hair I kind of go like on an angle in between underneath on the sides um, to really try to get as close as possible without staining the lace because once you stain the lace especially like in this case it's like it's over it's a wrap so when you if you want to try to style like really try your hardest not to stain the lace because the main focus for this wig transformation is the baby hairs so you guys will see like the angles that I use the brush in you guys can mimic that and try it for yourself and um, I really hope it works out I was very shocked um, I'm used to staining lace here and there not often but here and there it happens um, but this this not one not one splotch not one mistake and I'm just so proud of myself I'm so happy that I'm like really getting the techniques and really taking my time it's very important um, that I took my time with this and just you know worked each strand combed through it um, combing through it actually really helps a lot too to get the dye through the hair and through the strands and like kind of work it from the tips down so you can do that so you see like how I'm holding the brush right there like you want to go on different angles and you're getting closer to the roots is what I mean like boom right there boom you know like you have to like be strategic with that part um, so yeah so then the rest of the hair now like you're gonna see like little blonde strands like kind of like um, in the back of the hair where like the natural color is I didn't have time to pick through that to add it in the front I was like it's like trying to find a needle in a haystack I don't got time for that because I'll try to pick the blonde and some black is gonna come we don't want the black to the front so what I end up doing in the end is just getting um, just using some adore jet black I think it's jet black or velvet black color and just passing that over the strands you know it's like you know you have gray hairs you just like pass the like the black dye over to cover it I just did um, I just did that um, and that was all and then I washed it out um, and I used some conditioner because like I said like <laughs> the front of this hair of this lace wig has really gone through some testing trials and tribulations so to preserve whatever's left I really like I really went in with the condition I was just like I I was so scared to comb it out each time like I was just taking my time and I was just like okay like no more strands like no more strands can, should be falling out like oh my god but in the end it really came out really bomb and I'm so happy so thank you again so far for watching up to this point if you did um, at this point I'll like you to comment I will be trying this on my own so I know you got to this part of the video like Y'all be shy in my comments, and I don't like that. Like, talk to me. I'm talking to you guys. Talk back to me, too. <laughs> like, you know? So, yeah, if you reach up to this point, let me know. Like, so I know you watched this part. So, once again, I'm going to just hush my mouth because I'm talking way too much right now. And, yeah. When you're gonna be dyeing the rest of the hair in its natural color whatever that color may be mine happened to be black I would suggest you know putting the front part in some full paper if you're not used to um, coloring hair like that um, I just you know took my chances with just leaving it um, exposed and luckily none of the black hair that I got on the front Alright, so we're at the installation part, and when I do put on the wig, I do re, um, reconstruct the hairline. Um, I had to like cut it more properly and more 
um, going in line with the way like the um, baby hairs were um, outlining if that makes sense so I did that I'm gonna install a quick vest for you guys um, I'll show you guys how I did the baby hairs of curling it um, really quick fast and then I'll just reveal like just like you know like the end the outro and that's it so if you guys did reach up until this point thank you guys so much for watching as always stay safe stay blessed give me a thumbs up if you liked it if you didn't then la vie goes on and see y'all in my next video ciao seeing Aaliyah J um, do this method and I was just like oh my god like I need to try this so you don't know how excited I was to finally be able to try this method out and it coming out the way it did um yeah I just had to point that in there because sis was mad excited for this I don't know why but I really was <laughs> properly um so this little extra extra piece i just cut off because it just was hanging out of nowhere being an outcast so it had to go <coughs> oh god excuse me i choked on my spit but yeah just wanted to point that out there so another intelligent thing to do is probably do this step first before you curl your baby hairs or once you do curl your baby hairs um, to tie your baby hairs in the front down before doing this step um, but yeah um, I'm pretty backwards in life but I just get true so <laughs> once again just me just popping in giving a little advice and I'm out <laughs> again to recut my baby edges they're kind of too long um so i just wanted to like readjust that and i go like more to the top as well too to like kind of cut that more down for when i start to swoop it up with some mousse so that's the part you're gonna see right here we're almost done um and then yeah <laughs> Another thing I will admit when it comes to the hair game, I am no baby edge connoisseur. I, oh my God. I think that's another reason why I just hate rocking baby hairs with a wig. For one, I just, period, I don't like it. I like a more clean, classy look. That's just my personal opinion. And for two, I just never know how to swoop the swoop right. Like, 
send help, please. I need a tutorial. I will pay for a tutorial. Like, the struggles, the trials, and the tribulations going forth with getting these baby hairs right. I don't, I think I spent like maybe 45 minutes on this. You guys are lucky. You guys are only getting like a glimpse. I literally spent like 45 minutes trying to get this right. And anyways, um, also you're going to see like the dye was kind of running on my forehead. And I was just like, oh, excuse me, wait. So what I just did, I just took some baby wipes at the end and I just like wiped it off and then I put some concealer, just a little bit, to like, um, you know, just like, you know, make it disappear. And that's about it. 